Hi, as I'm scooting across the screen. Um, geometry. We are in Unit 1, Lesson 3. Its title is Construction Techniques 1, Perpendicular Bisectors. So we're going to work through a few things with this. I'm in a program called Kami to um, annotate a little bit on a piece of paper. And then we're going to go do some GeoGebra also. So you might just want to take notes on some important facts as we go. As usual, I will continue to put glossary items in the glossary um, that I've shared with you in Google Classroom. And I'm also going to grab some of those lesson summaries and put them in another document on Google Classroom. So here are two points labeled A and B in a line segment CD. Now this says mark five points that are a distance CD away from point A. How could you describe all points that are a distance CD away from point A? Let's actually go up to GeoGebra. Ooh, here's those awesome lines that we I wonder how to get a new sheet. Let's just undo all of this. I'm sure there's a way. Oh, clear all. I don't want to save. Okay, so what we had there was a segment. Um, one second. Nope. I just want to relabel this. Oh, for goodness sakes. Let's just pause that. For All right, I'm going back here. It says to mark five points that are a distance CD away from point A. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> going back here. So I just want a point um, the only way I can do that, if I want to make a point CD distance away from point A, it's going to make a circle around A, okay? It's like I just told you the ending to the movie. If I do the same thing, I need to make points CD distance around B, it's going to make a circle around B. Like there's no other way for me to, let's see. Center and radius. I don't know. No, I need to do a compass. So I'm going to measure CD first. And I'm going to come over here and put it on A. That means that if I were to make points around here, they would all be the same radius as the length of CD. One, two, three, four, five. And I can do the same thing around point B. So I want something this distance, the distance of CD. But I'm going to put it at B. And the instructions told me to put five points around it. And if I put five points around it, then I would be able to draw a circle, right? Those five points are going to give me all the necessary tools to draw a circle. Five points would give me, it's still going to look like a football for me if I try to draw it by hand. So mark five points that are distance CD away from point A. How could you describe all points that are a distance CD away from point A? It's a circle. Number two, mark five points that are a distance CD away from point B. How would you describe all the points that are a distance CD away from point B? It's a circle. In a different color, mark all the points that are a distance CD away from both A and B at the same time. So if we go over here, I want something that is the same distance from um, A and B. So if I went from point A to point B, that's a certain distance, but this distance isn't the same as the radius. Okay, the radius from A to the outside of my circle. So A to the outside of my circle all the way around. But I want from A to the outside of my circle to be the same as B to the outside of the circle. The only place that is, is right there at that intersection. Let me find that intersection button that I always have a hard time. So if I want the intersection of this circle and that circle, I'm going to get this point O and point P. It's the intersection of both circles. So the distance from A to O, I did this segment, A to O is the same as B to O. A to P is the same as B 
to P because they are the radius of the circle. Therefore, by definition, they're the same distance, the same length, they're congruent. Whew. Moving on. All right, so the human perpendicular bisector. Let's talk about the word perpendicular. If we remember, actually I'm gonna go into here, sorry. Um, perpendicular, the word perpendicular means two things that cross each other at 90 degree angles. How we draw it, if I got two line segments that cross each other, I usually put a little, little square there and that means perpendicular. So the definition of perpendicular, two line segments that cross each other at a 90 degree angle. Now what's the word bisector mean? Bisector means cut into two equal pieces. Okay, is that how you spell pieces? Oh yeah. That's how you spell pieces. So bisector means I'm going to take something and cut it into two equal pieces. So if I have a line segment and I take something and I cut it perpendicularly, that means that this segment and this segment are equal measure, they're congruent. And those little things I drew are called tick marks. Um, that means congruent. So from let's say A, to B, and then from B to C, those are equal. So I can say that segment AB, which I would draw it like that, is congruent to segment BC. Same measurement. Okay, that's an R. Now I'll go back to the question. Uh, we can't do this one. Your teacher will mark points A and B on the floor. Decide where to stand so that you are the same distance from point A as you are from point B. So let's, I don't know if I have any more room on this paper. Okay, so let me do something because there's one more thing I want to teach you about this and I did not use my paper well. I did not plan out my board use very well. So teacher will mark points A, pretend we're on the floor, and point B on the floor. Decide where to stand that you are so you're the same distance from A as B. So we're gonna stand there, and the same distance from A and B, okay? That means my distance from this person to A and this person to B are equal. Okay, the distance from this person to A and that person to B are equal, but not equal to the first two. So two tick marks means that those two segments are equal to each other, but not equal to the things with one tick mark, right? Um, okay, three tick marks. And what I've done here is if I have a segment AB, I did a perpendicular bisector. So anybody on that line is equal distance from A as it is to B. Cool, I'm gonna take a few notes on perpendicular bisector. Moving on, how well can you slice it? Use the tools available to find the perpendicular bisector of segment PQ. After coming up with a method, make a copy of segment PQ on tracing paper and look for another method to find its perpendicular bisector. So what we're going to do in GeoGebra in just a moment is if I want a perpendicular bisector of PQ, I need to find things that are equal distance away from P and equal distance away from Q, which we kind of did right here. So if I did, let's say, let's just make, well, no, segment AB. Okay, if I wanted the perpendicular bisector of segment AB, I want, we know that point O is equal distance from A as it is from B. We know that point P is equal distance A as it is from B. So if I make a line through O 
and P, I know that I have cut AB, let's see, I've cut AB, I can never find that intersection tool. It's gonna to be my laughing stock. AQ and QB are equal measures, okay? Because it's a perpendicular bisector. In fact, I'm pretty sure I can measure this angle. I know I can, I just don't remember how. Here we are, angle. Let's see it. Nope. Slider, distance. Nope. Area. I'll figure it out at another point. It's okay. Um, going back here. So we are going to, what I just wanted to, oh, I'm in the wrong thing. So many tabs open. If I draw a circle around P, center P, radius, it doesn't matter, and a circle around Q, center Q, same radius. It has to be the same radius. What we'll end up with is intersection of those two circles that we will be able to draw a perpendicular bisector through. Let's go try it. Watch me clear my screen. No, I don't want to save it. So what I have here is a segment, AB, and I would like to do a perpendicular bisector of that segment. So let's just draw any circle with center A. Doesn't matter what circle. It does have to go more than halfway. If I drew my circle here, and then I tried to draw the same circle at B, they wouldn't intersect. So my circle has to be more than halfway um, across the segment AB, right? So now I want to copy that circle. And the only way to copy that circle is using the compass. So radius AC centered at B. Now I would like to write my intersections. So I'm gonna intersect this circle and that circle. And that means that I will be able to draw a line through ED. And that line is perpendicular to um, AB and it bisects it. Let's see if I can show you. I'm gonna try one more time. This is the last part of this lesson, so I can take a second. So I'm gonna do the intersection of that line and that segment. And then I would like to measure Mm -hmm. Distance of AF. Nope. Distance of, if I do a segment from A to F, another segment from F to B. Maybe I can measure them now. Just, oops, nope, nope, we don't want that. Distance. It's not going to let me. Nope. Okay. It's fine. Um, what we do have there is, my screen's getting confused. We, we do have that AF and FB are congruent because um, I cut it in half. And then the angle, I would name it angle EFB is in fact 90 degrees. Okay, you're gonna have to trust me because that's how we constructed it. If we had some tracing paper, we could show. All right, so summary. A perpendicular bisector of a segment is a line through the midpoint of the segment that is perpendicular to it. Recall that a right angle is the angle made when we divide a straight angle into two congruent angles. So this is a straight angle because it's 180 degrees. If we divide that into two very congruent angles, that means I have 90 degrees and 90 degrees because 90 plus 90 is 180. Um, a conjecture, what is a conjecture? It's a very geometry term. It's a guess that hasn't been proven yet. We conjectured the perpendicular bisector of segment AB 
is the set of all points that are the same distance from A as they are from B. So this little segment is made up of an infinite number of points, and every single point on that segment are equidistance from A and B. Every single point, equidistance. Okay? They just all are. Um, it turns out to be true. The perpendicular bisector of any segment can be constructed by finding the points that are all the same distance from the endpoints of the segment. Right? And then I'll put your, these are new glossary words. I'll put them on your um, Google document in classroom. Right? That's all we have for today. Um, I'm going to do the next lesson and we're going to construct a little bit more. Good job.